Tesla may be getting into the lithium refining business. The electric vehicle giant is proposing a new facility in Texas to produce a critical element in EV production. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Praz Subramanian with the story. Praz, we have seen lithium prices soar this year. And Elon Musk earlier this year kind of hinted at getting into this when he tweeted on the back of it saying maybe Tesla needs to get into the lithium because prices are so high. Yeah, you know, on an earnings call, I think it was Q1, he said something to the effect of, do you like minting money? Then the lithium business is for you, <laughs> right? So, you know, he's clearly on top of that and clearly knows what's going on in terms of, you know, Tesla's own needs for these uh, critical resources they need for batteries. So uh, we saw them file a uh, uh, an application with the uh, Texas Comptroller to potentially build a lithium refinery um, on the Gulf Coast there in Texas. Um, they would they want to actually see if they can get some tax credits before they actually approve this uh, this this refinery. You know, so they process this raw ore material for further batteries. Um, and they said that if, if approved, they would start the building this refinery in Q4, but production wouldn't begin until the end of 2024. And Akiko would be this would be actually the first car automaker um, that would actually actually building a refinery, lithium refinery. A bunch of automakers have invested in, in raw materials and raw lithium with other companies. But this is the first time an actual company would actually make their own lithium. And they said that they would use this lithium and ship it out to their factories in, in Texas and also Nevada to make their powertrains. Oh, we've also got some leadership changes at the top of the Tesla Nevada Gigafactory surrounding VP of Operations, Chris Lister. Um, what can you tell us about these moves and what, what does this say about their ambitions there? You know, late last night, I uh, saw CNBC reported that um, they had a, an audio recording from a meeting just yesterday at, at Giga Nevada where they, they you know, changed out Chris Lister and now uh, Rushi Sagar, who is a, uh, a lieutenant that Musk had had for a long time. He's going to run operations both at, at Nevada and Fremont. But, you know, a lot of the stuff that I saw that was very interesting was the data that they revealed about their operations. Giga Nevada has now produced 283,000 drivetrains in Q2. That's a lot, right? So okay. power, that's the battery and also the motor power trains that they're going to go that they're going to both feed the Fremont factory and Austin operations. Also, the Fremont was up to 12,000 cars a week and they want to ramp up to 14,000 cars a week. You know, that's around 500 to 600,000 EVs a year, give or take, you know, uh, time periods of stoppages for, for upgrades and things like this. That's a lot of production out of just three months alone, let alone you have Austin um, kind of ramping up too. So um, they also noted that the mega packs is these big, huge power wall type installations that they're using, like massive uh, trailer size um, units. They're about 42 a week. And then also they have uh, about 6,500 power walls. So they're really upgrade, up, upping their games of production at Gigafactory Nevada, uh, including the staff changes as well. A lot of changes in store for Tesla. Prasubramanian, thanks so much for that.